Alright guys, what's up? This is your boy, this is your boy. We're going to break this down. Um, let's go ahead and get the cars. I'm going to put these off to the side. Um, that. Alrighty, here we are. <laughs> these two items here. This. Uh, let me show you guys the ends. I don't know why I did that. I'm a backwards fool. This Atari box. It holds uh, eight games. And it, she didn't realize it also had these, these game instructions for uh, Laser Blaster, Blackjack, and Space Wars. I got the case for four. I got the games for three. It was a little high, but I'm thinking I can definitely throw it all together. Uh, and I picked the two most popular games, Pac-Man and Asteroid. But I got that, and I got this 1950s uh, viewfinder. This was, as you can see, ten bucks. That would have been 10 as well, and it came with this, the little view thing. It's, um, can you guys, I don't know if you guys can read that, but it says, Muzzle Loading Cannon Along the Ramparts, Statue of Joan of Arc. It's different stuff around uh, the United States. But it would have been 20 bucks. She ended up charging me 18 bucks. Um, she wrote out a receipt, but I did not get it, so you're going to have to take my word for it. All right, now, the next place. Oh, I'm sorry. And Amy bought this. This um, owl ashtray. She loves owl stuff. I'll show you guys over here. Um, she must have. She must have put it somewhere. But she's got a hear no evil, speak no evil, uh, whatever. The no evil, but it's owls. So that's cool. All right. Now moving on to the next place. And I also got these two cards this guy here on the bottom Hamden junk I know that guy because I worked at Cafe Hun for a while and uh, I used to talk to him all the time Mr. Mike he's really cool and then Athena A. Hofberger was the place that I showed a lot of that furniture uh, we talked to her for a while but you always have to talk to the people always got to get the cards like I always say alright now the veterans place this is what I spent there 14 bucks and here we go the deck of cards this, I just kind of tore that today, but I liked it because it says Home of Presidents, and that's not Virginia's tagline. This is a pretty old deck of cards, so that is just a keeper there. Um, this handheld calorie counter, he charged me four bucks for this. It has absolutely everything in it. Look at that. Great deal, great deal. Uh, this polo shirt is for our son. It's an extra large boys, but they wear their stuff kind of tight fitting nowadays. I don't know why, but the colors popped on it, and the uh, horse is green. So those colors are really awesome. Uh, I'm going to save that beautiful piece for last. And here's the guy's phone number. He's a veteran. Uh, he gave me his phone number, and uh, just building the network, guys. That's what I um, that's what I'm trying to do. All right, here is a older Scrabble board. This does spin, and I will show you guys. As you can see, it sits on the table, and it spins like that. There's a little circular thing on the bottom. I really got it for these, for the letters. Um, I think, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but I'm thinking it's like 20 bucks for these on eBay. I'm not sure. i got to do the research. But uh, there's that, and then if I do sell those separately, this board here, I don't know. I have to do the research on it. But this is the golden goose right here, baby. And what I want to do is, as you guys take a look at that, look at the detail. I'm going to go get that other wooden thing that I have. This is a wooden cake. Um, it's for cakes. You bake a cake, throw it up on there. But I want to get that other thing that I bought at the thrift store. Um, and I want to put it next to it to show you guys exactly how similar these things are. I mean, it looks like they're a set. And you get shit like this, guys. When you go out, you buy stuff, and then you're like, oh, that'll go with that. That'll go with that. Um, but take a look at it, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Everybody it looks, looks like it. Boom. Guys, that's my cousin Tim. I wanted to show you guys this. 
he collects these little clocks and if you don't know on eBay there's a huge 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 market for these these little things here start around 20 and go all the way up to the hundreds I've seen him he's given me like four of them I just got to change the batteries but he made this little box and I had to share it because you know how we do we resellers I think each one of these is like 50 bucks so you're looking at 51 one to over two between two and three hundred bucks market value and once he glues these in and has this case done he probably could sell this for four hundred bucks on ebay and that's no bullshit look it up yourself what are they called yo uh mini clocks just mini clocks <laughs> I, I already looked them up once and i was stunned by the prices all right guys that's all guys i'm still at my cousin's house and he went somewhere earlier i can't he told me the names but i'm not going to get into all that i just want to show you his haul he still got the YouTube jitters, so I'm just going to do the haul for him. Hmm. But these two things here, these uh, DS, they are boom shakalaka. Lego DS men, $1 a piece. You all already know the market value on them. You already know the market value on uh, Tim Burton stuff, and this is a Blu-ray unopened in the package. This could be an Amazon sale. Could quite possibly. We didn't look any of this shit up yet, though. You already know about Tins, how they sell. These are funky and stylish, and he has two of them. Um, he did not get these from the thrift store. His neighbor actually sold them to him for three freaking dollars. Hmm. Look at the detail on these bad boys. People love people that are decorating their home. MCM are gonna love this shit. It's like the late 50s, maybe mid 60s. I don't know. Somewhere between the 50s and the 70s, this will fit in. Ha <laughs> ha. This is freaking awesome. Look at this, guys. This is not a pack of cigarettes. It's an ashtray. Look. Yes, it's an ashtray. This oddity will sell on the bay all day long. Y'all already know about these, and I'll never get sick and tired of looking at them or sharing them. You paid a quarter for this? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Y'all already know market value on this is like 30 to 50, depending on where he goes. These things here, he got these all in this bag. How much did you pay for all this? Like six bucks. Six bucks. It's a bunch of different. Uh, can you guys see in there? Alright, see that? It's just numerous bags. They look like little wee bags. <laughs> Crazy. But he got all them for six bucks. This here is kind of along the same lines of the clocks I showed you downstairs. It doesn't fit in with his set, but it's still pretty. It's heavy as hell, too. Pretty. And this is the deal here. This is the one I like. Boom! This thing here is the one. This is, here's the story of it. You guys just pause the video and you can read all about it. There you go. I'll scan down and you can just pause the YouTube video and read it. But uh, everything that's on that paper is right here in Arabic. They would have to wave this over their head so they didn't get shot. It's crazy. And then that's on the other side. We have uh, a Baltimore note with Frederick Douglass. If y'all don't know about Che Guevara, please look him up. Revolutionary, save Cuba, him and Fidel Castro. We're not supposed to like him because we're Americans, but you can't help but like him. Dude that dropped out of medical school to start a revolution. Come on now. The Queen, punk, but her money's worth money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about this money, guys. If y'all know anything about any of this currency besides the Saddam Hussein one, please let me know in the comments because we're trying to find, um, you know, I see that's Cuba. I don't know the dates. Oh, no, 2004. All I got to do is open my eyes. But if you guys know anything about this, about pricing it or uh, the market for it, let me know about that in the comments. And, uh, oh, yeah, let me flip that over. This is our uh, state, our city bird right here, Baltimore Oreo. And Frederick Douglass is uh, very popular here. He, there was a lot of stuff he did that um, I'm trying to think of the right word that helped black suffrage. I didn't want to say helped. I was trying to think of a better word, but um, he did a lot of good, awesome work. And what was his wife's name? Frederick Douglass. I can't remember his wife's name, but she did some stuff too. But uh, this is a Baltimore note, boom, boom, and that's it. And guess how much he paid for all this stuff combined? Under 20 bucks. He told me the number. I can't remember it. I think it was like 16, 17, whatever. But read over this, guys. Pause it. If you know anything about this money, let me know in the comments, and I'll holler at y'all in the right, next guys, one. It's your boy, Ed Evans. I am back. Uh, I left my cousin's house, and I came to a homeboy's house. And everybody knows that I sell, so they ask me questions about games and different things like that. But I don't have a clue about this stuff. So guys, if anybody out there knows anything about any of these games, please look at them. Hold on. I'm going to give you guys a close-up view. Uh, all these, most of these are vintage. 
go ahead I'm gonna scan over all of them if you guys know absolutely anything about these as far as pricing as far as um, market value please let me know in the comments okay and then I'll let him know and I'm gonna help him try to hustle these off on eBay concentration Parcheesy. Yeah. yeah this puzzle here I like this one I think it's worth something but I don't know yet so let me know guys and that's a puzzle too okay and we have oh yeah this Sky Tech TV I know people like this retro looking uh, 80 stuff if you guys know anything about any of this I'm gonna do some market research tonight but it'll save some time if you guys